So is this a little too red carpet for the grand final? Absolutely. <laughs> it's a little more brown low than grand final, I believe. <laughs> today? Hell no! I have had little to no sleep and I don't mean that figuratively, I mean that literally. Probably two to three hours, that's if you're lucky. As soon as I shut my eyes, somebody was awake busting into our room or sitting up in their little bassinet. So, here we are. I tried to sleep this morning, tried to get about an hour, that didn't work. I just, once I'm awake, which I was since 5.30, uh, I was just awake and there we go. So I had a shower, I did a little ab workout on Fiton and I'm feeling a lot more alive. Uh, I thanked Tan yesterday so also feeling a little bit more glowy than I really actually am and since we are in complete isolation we have decided to enjoy the one day that is not raining in spring uh, to enjoy a little barbecue outside so I thought it would take you along for that and also, tonight I have a very exciting event that I'm attending online and it is a, it is the Charlotte Tilbury launch at Mecca Cosmetica. Charlotte Tilbury is a very well-known uh, makeup and they have also got a skincare line but mostly well-known for their makeup and it's a UK brand and they have just launched here in Australia and Mecca is now stocking them. So I'm very excited and also very excited to get my hands on some of their products if they aren't sold out already. I did enter a competition where in 25 words or less I had to... Um, <laughs> say what I loved about Charlotte Tilbury makeup. If I can find it, I will go and recite it for you. It's more like an ad, really, and apparently the winners were based on creativity. I thought it was rather creative, but I haven't heard anything back, so apparently not as creative as I thought. Um, my hair is on day six of not being washed, so I have literally just popped it up in a bun, whacked a whole lot of Batiste in there, and just uh, whizzed through with my um, muck curler and again sorry for the really bad lighting the closer i go the more shadows there are so it's best that i sort of sit back here but uh hope you enjoy coming along for this today i am actually wearing some new in pieces that you might have seen from my previous videos which i will link up above uh and that is my new cotton on linen shorts and apparent and unfortunately now they have sold out of this style this linen which was called serene the 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 range, sorry, the range of this serene linen is almost sold out. The only thing left is this halterback dress, which I have ordered pretty much in all the colours because um, I loved the first one so much. I just had to go back for more. It was so flattering, but the linen is very thick and the real deal. So it's not a linen blend. It is pure linen, great price point and very flattering out from the hips. And this is my Kmart uh, linen shirt, which I picked up uh, in, again, a few different colors. This is the linen blend, but fantastic if you don't like ironing uh, in the natural color. And also wearing for my accessories today a... Well, let me fix the lighting first. Oh my goodness, the lighting is so bad. <laughs> Anywho, um, these earrings, which are from Cotton On, actually, very impressed with these little hoops and they're quite weighty as well so they feel like the real deal um by charlotte little pearl chain and i have stacked two different metals today because i believe in mixing metals um that's a nice little dimension to your accessories uh and then a silver uh chain with a charm from a local brand called alphabets i will link them down below 
and my new ugly slides, which are ugly but very comfy and not so ugly. I got the prettiest out of the ugly range that I could. Stay in fashion, guys, of course, on trip. Because we're all about that. <laughs> and, oh, uh, Pandora charm bracelet. And I'm going to go downstairs now. I need to do some programs with my son uh, for his ongoing uh, education. And then we'll get into the barbecue because I am hungry. In fact, I might even have a sneaky little snack beforehand because I am just, I'm grumbling. I'm grumbling and I'm shaking. Oh, and if I was actually heading out into town today, <laughs> I would be wearing my Kate Spade bag, which is yet to premiere itself in, it, in the outside world because we've been locked down for so long. But uh, when we do, this is a great trans-seasonal bag. I feel like this could work in autumn and actually autumn summer I feel because of the browns and the canvas and I feel it really ties in with the whole brown canvasy linen feel that we're going for today and another little hack I want to show you before I head downstairs is how I have tucked my shirt so basically I have done the buttons up to about just under the bust and then what I have done is twisted the front around and then just tucked it into the shorts as so all the way through the front and then I have just left it hanging at the back a little bit to keep it very nice and casual but really liking this wraparound style I saw it on a reel on Instagram and I thought I'd give it a try today and it's a new way of wearing a shirt and I'm absolutely loving it and very comfortable as well by the way oh and sunglasses of course what about that last water balloon that really big fat one that's a good one this one, yeah. This one, yeah. Oh, that big one there. Yeah. Give that a good throw. Go on. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> that rebounded and what? Oh, that one didn't work. We've got a few ones that we can use actually. They're all hiding. I think we can burst this one. Ready? Let me give it a shot. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, they are veggie burgers. Veggie burgers. Just arrived on the doorstep and I certainly didn't order this so this is a bit of a surprise eye pantry <gasps> donuts oh how beautiful oh sending you a big virtual hug love you batty this is from my friends Stephanie, oh how gorgeous. I'll have to give her a call. Oh how beautiful. Oh and there's more. Oh and a lasagna. How perfect. We can enjoy that today. Oh lasagna and donuts. It's going away the way to my heart, let me tell you that. So it may be quite apparent that um we kind of deviated from seeing Charlotte Tilbury. Um, not last evening, but the evening before. Yes, guys, it is two days on now. <laughs> and I apologize for not taking you with me to see Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte, I did, I did see her for probably 30 seconds. And then what ended up happening was whilst we were having our fire after our barbecue in the evening, uh, is my phone died. And that was that. And we ended up enjoying the fire very well into the night. The children fell asleep. It was all very uh, wholesome and uh, campfire-like. We were celebrating a little personal uh, celebration, not just a one day of lovely weather, but also my results uh, came back on the 9th. So that was very welcome news and uh, we're feeling all very graced and blessed around here. 
Anyway, it is now Saturday and it is Waffle Day, but on top of waffles, for people in lockdown, I mean, tell me if you know anyone who has this many donuts. I mean, not only did we make them literally two days before, but then my beautiful friend sent me these as a lovely little gift yesterday. My auntie dropped these off because we have a fussy one in the house that only likes jam donuts. And then, of course, we have some donuts from our favorite, the Happy Donut Company in chocolate, which I haven't tried, but looking forward to it. And my favorite, salted caramel. I mean, we are very spoilt around here for lockdown. <laughs> um, but we will end up eating them all because I am determined to make the most of this situation. Because when does one ever have these many donuts? Oh, and you're tucking in. Well done. Good job. Now, I thought I would fill you in on the rest of our day so you know the tone for the rest of the video. So, basically, we uh, have some new in-bits, of course, because we always have new in-bits from a very exciting brand. And I've been waiting to show you this for quite some time because I bought the pieces over a bit of time and some of these items I had to be put on a waiting list for. So, it all worked out in the end. Um, and I may even wear them today because today is also an exciting day. It is grand final day. And do I pay much attention? Not really. I mean, my team's not in there and I really don't follow the AFL folks. Um, I used to as a child, but uh, that is sort of wavered. My husband has only recently started following AFL. Even he too does not <laughs> pay much attention, but uh, he has bets on this year. So therefore his interest has significantly peaked. And because of the time difference, because the game's in Perth, the grand final will now be in the evening. So we are going to be getting ready for that and uh, making a few lovely nibbles, which you will see, and um, make a day of it. We might even spend some time outside. And whilst you are here in the kitchen and we are waiting for our waffles, I thought I would show you some new in bits that I got from Aldi Special Buys, which I have neglected to show you, even though I was at the store itself. So why not show you now? are these gorgeous pink ceramic fry pans and saucepans and are these completely necessary no will these match my kitchen no um but i just couldn't go past the color because they're absolutely gorgeous it doesn't show up as pink on camera but they are more of a pinky shade of of pale than they are looking here um, now, I purchased these because, in my mind, these looked remarkably similar, these ceramic coated pans, to the Always Pan, which is a very popular pan in the US, which I've actually wanted to get my hands on because it's a pan that you can stick in the oven, put on the stove, do absolutely every, everything with, use on high heat, they're non-scratch, again, uh, a much safer coating as well, not that nasty uh, non-stick coating. The only thing, however, is I don't think they actually are because you cannot put these in the oven. So that's a little bit disappointing. I actually thought you could, but you can't. So they are not the exact replica for the Always Pan, but they are definitely in the same color range. Hence why I believe that they were <laughs> a direct copy of the Always Pan. But I will be using them in the future anyway, and we will be seeing how versatile they are and if they are as non-stick as they say but yes that's what i picked up from aldi's special buys and i also picked up a new toothbrush i thought it was time to invest in the electric my teeth are you know i don't have my perfect teeth i actually do need to get my front tooth fixed and i have had it once in my lifetime before but over wear and tear it has sort of looking <laughs> sort of uh, sort of looking a bit broken again um, so I invested in this, well, I wouldn't say much of an investment. It was $20 at Aldi, this electric toothbrush. I've been wanting to get an Oral-B one, like one of those really fancy ones for ages, but I don't feel like spending $200, um, on an electric toothbrush when maybe this might do the job. It comes with a travel case and I picked up some extra heads and I picked them up in a different color because I think I rather prefer the, uh, the black but I'm going to give this a go today and I can report back and tell you how my mouth is feeling after... Oh, and I've just realized something. Why are these different? Hmm. Sonic toothbrush. Oh. Right. I've gotten the wrong ones. Well, I'm sure it'll fit, hopefully. Really? If it doesn't. 
Oh, great. Oh, perhaps they'll be fine. Perhaps these are even better. Oh, we'll give them a go. Oh, no, it's not, it's not the same at all. Oh, dear. Well, we learned something new today, didn't we, folks? Lucky I still have the receipt. Oh, no, I don't. Great. All right, so we have here a little flower growing kit from Woolworths, and we get to grow. And, and, we, we, get, and, we, and we get to grow, and we get to get Legos. Yeah, we also got Lego from Safeway as well, yeah. So we've got Rebecca, Californian Poppy, and Cosmos that we can grow. So apparently you wet these pellets, these soil pellets with warm water, wait for them to turn into soil, then you add a few of these seeds, and then you have to label them with these sticks. Shall we give it a try? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so here are our plant labels. So we're growing Cosmos or Cosmo. We Co have no, Cosmos. Cosmos. Poppy. Cosmos. And we have Rubecchia. I'll just call it Rubeck for short. Perfect. Okay, let's get the warm Ooh, water cos onto our soil. This is Cosmos. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Oh, this. So let's put this underneath for now. Just so water doesn't spill out. Alright, do you want to put your soil pot soil pallets in? Okay. Okay. I put sideways. Alright, now we'll pour in a bit of water. Oh. Just to pour in a little bit. A soil. Just a little bit at Start, let it absorb. So you just have to wait a few minutes now. Right. Oh, that's swimming a little bit. That's okay. Did you add some more to this one? Oh, no. Can I add some more to that one over there? Yeah, sure. Not too much. Very good. So, so let that one soak for a little bit. Now, with these ones, can you poke a hole in the middle? And Hmm. I thought we start with the Rebecca. Let's start by poking our little um, little sticks in. Little seeds now. Can I grab one? Do you want to see what they look like? Yeah, I want to see what they look like. Let's open it. So these are literally the size of the seeds. They're very tiny and we don't need that many. Now we just need a fingernail length in the middle, so not many. And you literally hold on a minute, just pour them in. And then you cover them up with a bit of soil, and that's it. And then get them some water. No, I think you just leave them like that. Now, should we do the next one? So that is the, the Rebecca. Now let's do the Poppy next. Okay. Jeez, they're tiny. They're very small. Yes, we'll put them in your hand. All right. Now, literally, get your other hand. Use your other hand. Other hand. Yeah. And you want to put them. Yeah. This one. And now just slip them in the middle there. Perfect. Right now, use this and just cover it up with a bit of soil on top. Okay. Good, that's it. Perfect. Right now, let's do the last one. All right, so the Cosmo seeds are quite different. They're rather large, long little things. Now, I'm going to pop those in the middle. I think we might need a bigger hole, actually. So here, give me your hand. There we go. And you want to cover it up with a bit of soil? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so here are our little seedlings. Apparently in seven to 14 days, we should see some little sprouts. And then after that, um, we should plant them in a sunny spot in the garden. And then, once they are eight centimeters tall, then we can plant them properly in the ground. So let's see how this progresses. We'll do a weekly update. It's actually rather hilarious how I have attempted to plant plants because even in the past, whether it be a cactus or a goldfish or even a succulent, I notoriously kill, well, I don't kill pets. Well, goldfish, yes, unfortunately, we've had many a burial, but uh, plants included. I am just not good at keeping those things alive, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we have better luck this time. I'm really going to follow those instructions and... Uh, Hopefully we have better luck this time because I want to be a green thumb for our new house. So 
And also my youngest, my middle child loves gardening. So I want to be good for him too. So <laughs> fingers crossed. So yes, notoriously uh, ending the lives of many a goldfish and a plant, but keeping the children alive so far, which is the most important thing. What are we eating post-workout? Of course, a donut and a decaf coffee as I am switching it up, uh, making sure that my second coffee of the day is a decaf just for my thyroid issues. Yes, life is all about balance, guys. You can't work out and then not make up for it afterwards. I mean, what is the point? <laughs> what is the point? You tell me. In light of Charlotte Tilbury launching, I'm using a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. And this one's called Karina's Star. And no, this is not mine. My mum happened to snag this from an overseas supplier. I don't know how she got her hands on it, but let's give this a try. Oh, that is a bold lip, but my mum does like a bright lipstick. Okay, interesting. I have to say, Charlotte Tilbury really does pigment well. So if you are looking for long wear and uh, strong colours, she's your gal. Oh, look at that. Mm. I never make my lips pop, but uh, that was rather nice. I think I might even add a little bit of gloss to top that off. What have I got here? A bit of L'Occitane lip gloss. And this, which sounds horrible, and you should not be doing this, this is like, I don't know, probably 10 years old. <laughs> but I just don't wear lip gloss on a daily basis. Um, I actually just wear a coconut lip balm. Hmm. Perfect, I think it needed that little bit of shine. Lovely. And I only just pop it on in the middle as that is the main area that makes your lips look juicy so you don't have to do the entire thing. Sometimes I think it's a bit overkill when you do too much of a shiny lip. But hey, I am ready. Let's get into this very exciting brand that I have discovered and a few new in pieces. There also might be a little bit of witchery new in as well because I couldn't help myself. I had a voucher. Let's have a look. So is this a little too red carpet for the grand final? Absolutely. <laughs> it's a little more brown low than grand final, I believe. Um, but I'll have you know, I was this close into just staying in, to, in my pajamas for this little portion of the video, but I thought, no, I will ready myself. I've done my makeup. I'm already halfway there, so why not? <laughs> and it's comfortable. So if I was to be wearing this today, I would, of course, have on some lovely woven mules, my uh, recent ones from Daisy, which are very, very comfortable. And this slip skirt, which I purchased quite a while ago, but by an Australian brand called Beckenbridge which you would have seen in my spring trends video. So still in keeping with the trends, I will link that video up above and just a little cute Cardi and Cami set from Forever New, which again, I picked up uh, earlier on in the year, of, I believe, yes, earlier on in the year when it was like autumn. So um, let's get into my new in and the exciting new brand, which I am launching or introducing here on my channel. I'm proud to say that it is an Aussie label called Dish. Day I, day I, D I, double S H. Clearly, didn't have enough caffeine in that decaf coffee. <laughs> Anywho, I was very impressed because once the items arrived, they came in these completely 100% biodegradable and compostable bags. So not just biodegradable, but you can literally put this in with your food scraps or your compost, and it acts. The worms will eat it, and off you go into the world it goes again. So I was very, very impressed with that. So well done, Dish, for making the world a better place. And I picked up a few items here uh, in drips and drabs, so not all at once, and a lot of them I was on a waiting list for. Now, my eye was drawn to this brand because I was Googling a lot of linen tops and linen dresses because I'm very obsessed with the linen right now. 
and Dish was a brand that came up. Uh, then I looked through their website, their price point was good, and not to mention, they were also featured in Vogue, and I believe they were featured in Vogue for their aisle edit. So they had a collection of linen pieces, which could be obviously worn down the aisle, or worn uh, casually, of course, or a little bit of an elevated casual look. So I was very, very interested in that, and a few pieces really caught my eye. Again, the designs are beautiful, the price point is really, really reasonable for the quality and the design that's been put into these uh, things. So, and they also sell jewelry and footwear by Alias May, which you know is a brand that I also follow, <laughs> um, and Bellini and a few other really, really great brands. So they basically provide for an entire outfit. So I did pick up some earrings while I was there and I do have my eyes and some shoes, but maybe when they go on sale. <laughs> and also they have a 10% sign up discount, which is fantastic. So I did use that for some of the items. Now, let's get into the little itty bitty pieces. And that is some earrings that I picked up for a very reasonable price. And they're just these small little dainty hoops. Perfect little huggies just for everyday wear. And I'll put them on for you now. And I was in the market for actually some larger hoops, and I did expect these to come a bit larger, but that's the risk you take when buying online, but you just don't get your dimensions right. But they actually are my new favourite, and they are just perfect, and I actually have worn them already in a few of my videos, see if you can pick them. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful, just enough for me today. And then I got into my linen. So I decided to pick up a lovely white linen blouse but not just any linen blouse this blouse comes with a tucked in feature or an elasticated waist so to say and a lovely dramatic uh, drop in the neckline and these sort of puffed frilly sleeves which I thought was a very different look for me and I tend to go away with any tend to go away from anything too too puffy on top because it makes me very top heavy again because of my broad shoulders but I gave this a try and I thought you know what this is different for me and let's be different let's explore fashion in a bit of an elevated way because I tend to go a bit basic with my fashion but I wanted to amp it up a bit with the design so I will be styling this up with probably a pair of jeans and some nice little uh, summer wedges or mules. Now, I have just showed you this shirt in its purity and I actually love it. My first impressions were, oh, this is really different for me. But when you fluff it up at the shoulders a little bit, which you can here, it really gives a different and floaty shape. And also opened up at the collar a bit as well to let a little bit of skin show through. And again, to jazz it up a little bit and break up this sort of block shape that could be happening here, I'd recommend popping on just a very thin waist belt, again, in keeping with natural colors. And I believe the shirt would just be wonderful with just a bit of denim and keeping it nice and simple. And that just gives the outfit that little extra pop of color and dimension and just sort of ties it all in and makes you look very chic, you know, you know, maybe, yeah. <laughs> And then I picked up something else and this one was particularly exciting for me. It comes in its own dust bag and yes, this is from the Isle Edit and this took a while to arrive and I was on a wait list and originally I was on a wait list for the white version of this dress but am I so happy that I missed out on that one? 100% yes, because then they brought it out in their pearl range, which is of course a natural linen look, and which is a lot more wearable, because pure white on me, it's wonderful, but you know, it's more of a, um, a dressy up look, and I really would love to wear these pieces as like an everyday thing. I don't want to have to just pull them out on special occasions. If you invest in fashion, you want to... You want to wear the fashion. You don't want it just sitting in your wardrobe. Now, this dress is absolutely gorgeous and it may not appear very well on camera and I will be giving these all the steam before I try them on. Is this cute little mini dress. It comes with frills at the bottom and bowed sleeves. And I have been looking for a dress with bows on the sleeves for absolutely ages. Not only is it convenient because you can adjust the length of the dress, but these are lovely, thick and statement. Again, a fantastic design feature that you do not see everywhere at all. And a lovely tucked in neckline. 
neckline here. Just a lovely square, simple neckline. Very bridal, but because it's come in this lovely natural linen um, color, or the natural natural linen basically, um, this makes this a wearable piece and I definitely see myself wearing this on my birthday. Could be my birthday dress, which is coming out. This dress basically comes with its own accessories and that is the beautiful statement bow sleeves, which are fantastically adjustable. Now I didn't completely steam um, the bows, I just sort of left them as they came uh, when delivered. I didn't steam these parts, which I think I will go back and do that. But I did steam these parts just to let them flow a little bit better. But how gorgeous and girly is it? And also this dress does come with pockets, again, super convenient and adds that level of casualness and everyday wear as well. Now, I actually like this dress very minimal just as it is because again the bows I think say enough and I also think this dress would look better with the hair up just so you can really make a statement of those bows um, but if you'd like to again touch it up a little bit or even dress it down uh, you can add a little belt probably a thin one I'd say um, as again the statement sleeves do enough here and also with this dress I had to size up and that's because for some reason uh, the particular design of this dress is the top half and again I'm very broad shouldered the top half came in basically a really tight small size so I had to size up in this dress and therefore it's left me with a bit of extra room down the middle but you really don't notice it guys because this dress is so girly and feminine you just feel like a princess in this dress so if you are going to pick this up or have a look at it in store just uh, make sure that you do get the size up that's what's recommended recommended on the sizing guide. Then I have this other dress I picked up. She is called the Lexi dress. And this comes in a range of different natural colors. It is a strapless gown. I'd call it a gown actually, because it is so, so elegant. It is a midi length, so quite a generous length. And it has this lovely layered pleating detail to the bodice. I mean, it is again, very bridal. I think this is also part of their aisle edit. Correct me if I'm wrong there though, dear. Sure. It may not be. Um, I did pick this up in a size down from what I usually would. It does come with the rubbers on the seams to make sure that it stays up. And I did get it in a size down because I'm not well gifted in that area. And I thought, oh, well, my dress will stay up better. But uh, as it turns out, <laughs> still, cause I am so broad on my top half, um, it was a tad tight, but upon pulling it a bit lower, it fits absolutely perfectly and then gives that lovely silhouette out from the waist. So it actually worked out fine in the end. So I picked up that little number and I will be styling these all up for you in the cutaways if you haven't seen them already. Now the accessories that I would, I would be teaming with this Lexi dress would be a lovely, simple cloud bag or any bag that you have in beige, particularly a nice soft structure just to match the simplicity of this dress. And also, if you would like to dress it down, alternatively, slap on a nice thick belt, preferably in a nice brown natural leather or even a rattan. But as you can see here, I've just made this dress a lot more casual for everyday wear. And I, yes, I have put a statement necklace on with this dress, but that can be easily removed. And now we have a more casual summer everyday want to point out another amazing feature of this dress and that it has pockets and I feel this adds to the whole again dressing down vibe and just being nice and relaxed and I feel like it really does add to the poofiness of the dress out from the hips which is very very flattering and uh, yeah just a really nice little feature as well then I had a voucher to spend at Witchery and I am a member there and I do highly recommend becoming a member because they give fantastic discounts because Witchery, let's be honest, can be rather pricey and these days I only shop there when they have a sale and it generally doesn't go beyond 20% so watch out for those sales um, and what I ended up doing was spending my voucher plus the 20% off sale to pick up a few little new in bits and I'm actually wearing one of them this wasn't from that purchase but um, one of the items that I picked up recently which was the pearl bracelet which I wear very regularly and some more linen bits so let's check these guys out 
Now, which is fantastic, they don't package their things in plastic. It all just comes in a bit of tissue paper, so well done to you, witchery. I picked up these belted linen shorts, but what attracted me to them in the first place, and you may not be able to see it here, but they come with a bottom hem, which is then fluted at the bottom. So it sort of flares out, which is very Zimmerman shorts look. And uh, Zimmerman is another brand that I follow. I don't own any Zimmerman, perhaps one day I will, but um, very, very, uh, attracted to those little details there very flattering and also I always go for shorts that really flute out and give that trumpet effect from the waistline as uh, it balances again my broad top half and fashion is all about balance guys if you are broader on top or more of a triangle shape like me you want to balance that out at your bottom so make your bottom half look bigger per se <laughs> Same if you are the opposite, say if you're a pair and you're smaller on top, but really wide at the hips, you want to really pad the, and puff those shoulders out and make yourself as symmetrical as possible. Little fashion tip there. Now, styling tips for life. Then, I also picked up a linen top and this top really caught my eye because it wasn't just any linen top. This top comes with a midsection that is actually split. So you have an option to tie it and belt it or just wear it loose, which I will be showing you in the cutaways, which I thought made this top so versatile and unlike any linen top that I have seen on the market thus far. I really hope you enjoyed my style up of these linen pieces. Honestly, look, it's, it's all linen. It is all linen. It's actually all pretty much the same color, save the white thread. <laughs> save the white top. So um, I went a little linen crazy. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my lighting there. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoy these. Do go and check out the Dish website and even the Witchery website. They have some another, another lot of new fashion pieces just come through, which look absolutely adorable. So I will be waiting for that 20% off sale on my voucher if I'm looking to pick up any more of those pieces. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stay in my brown low metal outfit and start making some grand final snacks with the kitties. I have to give a huge shout out to this Aldi steamer because since now I have a wardrobe pretty much full of linen, um, I'm going to be using this steamer a lot more than I had ever anticipated, but it's been so quick and easy and convenient to use that um, it doesn't even... It doesn't even bother me that I have to steam my clothes, you know, it's not even a chore. So, a um, little shout out to the Aldi uh, handheld steamer. When it comes back in stock around next year or maybe even at the end of the year, I would suggest highly picking one of these guys up. Okay, round one of the quiches are done. We have one tooth tomato and tomato less ones for the ones that are picky about the tomato situation. And later on tonight, we'll be indulging in some nachos and homemade guacamole and some saveloys or big boys or little boys, those little Frankfurt sausages. And um, yes, enjoying a bit of that. So I will take you along for the rest of that and I think we'll wrap up this vlog. But honestly, in all honesty, I do think that um, <laughs> me indulging in the grand final and all is pretty much just for the food. It's a bit like that joke that Jerry Seinfeld made, yeah. that he was convinced that um, his dentist converted to Judaism purely for the jokes. And hence myself uh, watching the grand final and indulging in a bit of AFL just purely for the uh, for the food. Gown, and yes, if you hear that grunting noise, I am expressing. So tonight has ended in tragedy and injury. I am currently wearing my thick bamboo sock, which I used to wear in my baking days, in my red back boots for comfort. I was leaning over the baby gate and putting away the children's pajamas and checking sizes and I leaned a little bit too far and down went the baby gate and me as well on top of the baby gate and I smashed my knee quite aggressively into the bruise starting to come through now. I can't wait bear on this leg and also I have also cracked my toe. 
and I have a very swollen second toe here, which is coming out in a bruise. Hopefully it's just bruised and not broken. I have had a broken toe before, but anyway. My lovelies is the official end to the vlog. Good news is my lipstick has lasted rather well. well <laughs> so thank yeah. you, Charlotte Tilbury, and um, thank you, Dish. Well, Please do check them out. I and thank you, Witchery, as well, for making thank this you. vlog happen today. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Uh, take care, my lovelies. Make tomorrow better than it is today and hold your head up and hopefully, hopefully I can work out tomorrow. If not, I will have to be keeping my feet up for a little while, which I'm dreading because I'm not that kind of a person, but one must do what is best for the body. So you never know, it might teach me again another lesson in life. Take care, guys. Anything that I have mentioned in this video will be in the description box. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.